So what's up guys, it's N7 Euro here, and I'll try to explain you guys how to boost your FPS in Battlefield 2042 as quick as I can. So the first thing you want to do is type MS here, uh, you'll get system configuration, uh, go to boot, and then advanced options, you'll find number of processors, tick that, and put it to max, as it will unpark your CPU cores uh, as soon as you boot your PC. Then second thing you want to do uh, is go to your Battlefield 2042 settings. I mean here. Uh, you'll find settings in your documents folder by default. So settings, make a copy of this, name it whatever you like, and then go here. Uh, you can open it with whatever you like, notepad, wordpad, and then scroll all the way down to GST render. Then weapon off, set it to zero. Uh, Enlighten, set it to 0, and then DX12 enabled, set it to 1. Then save, and go ahead to your, well, if it's on Steam, go to your Steam library. Then uh, from here, properties, disable in-game overlay, and on origin is right here on your library, then game, game properties, and then disable from here. Then save. And after that, make sure you have your newest graphics card driver for Battlefield 2042. You can head to drivers and check if you have it right here. No need to explain it, it's game optimized. And if you like, it's not going to give you more than one or two FPS. You can disable the graphic cards in-game overlay. We can then head to HDD settings if you have an HDD. Uh, go to general, then disk cleanup clean up system files and then when you've done that go to tools and then defragment your drives uh, you can see that I have some fragmentation here but this is automatic for me so uh, just make sure you do that if it's fragmented a bit yeah almost forgot you can delete all of these cache files just control a and delete uh, they will automatically load up later and it won't take any time and this will give you some lag spikes here and there in the game if you have a folder full of cache files those are temporary files so uh it'll be okay trust me <laughs> source trust me but then again we can head to the game settings themselves spoilers they're all low all right so on the bottom left you can see my system performance graph you can see with that when everything's loading it's spiking a lot because uh, the game is very CPU intensive, the yellow one is going to spike a lot, which is the CPU, and the green one on the bottom of it is stable, which is the GPU. I'm currently running everything on Ultra on Full HD, and the reason I'm using Full HD, I'll explain later. But, uh, go to Options, and then you can see that uh, Field of View is by default low, set it all to high, it'll help. Motion Blur, all to low. All of these graphic settings to uh, off, then graphics presets, of course, everything to low. And I could actually shortly explain how these hit the system. So texture quality, medium hit, filtering, low, high, low, medium, medium, low, low, medium, and high hit. Then future frame rendering, this is preference, then vertical sync off, then this to low. Uh, you'll see some gliding soldiers, but, well, performance. Then general and camera shake to 50. And you'll see that these spikes uh, when they settle down. Uh, well, on the GPU you can see already the step down. And the CPU will now settle to a lower requirement. And it, there's even more to this. Uh, you can go to the command console here. Uh, wait, here. And just type render dot resolution scale you can just select and then to point 0.8 which is kind of point 0.8 point 0.75 it's kind of the uh how bearable it can be you can also set it to uh, point 0.5 which is going to like kind of super sample uh, point 0.5 times the resolution that you have so you can tweak around this see what's best for you uh but um i'm guessing this is the the least that's uh kind of okay to look at on your screen no, uh, you'll see that when I set it down to 0.1, it's just uh, porridge. 
but to select whatever is best for you this is affecting the GPU the most of course but it will also help the CPU a bit so very useful indeed if you want to take everything out of your system if you do not meet the system requirements just yet and the reason for why you want to have the resolution at your native is because of these. You will see the logos and texts still at uh, maximum resolution and they don't take anything from your system. It doesn't matter if it's um, uh, Full HD or uh, 720, it's, uh, it's just going to be better uh, lowering the resolution scale rather than the uh, resolution itself. And as I said, the future frame rendering is optional. Uh, you can actually tweak that as well. It's with uh, the command line, uh, which I'll explain soon, but it actually has values from 1 to 4, and 1 meaning GPU is supporting CPU, and all the way to 4 meaning CPU is supporting GPU, so not recommended here. And now that we're done with that, I can explain the user config that's in the description. So, how that is done is you go ahead and make a new text document, then you can put these to the line of command. Render device dot render head limit one. Uh, you can tweak this all the way to four. Uh, see what's best for your system. And then render dot resolution scale uh, 0.75, the least bearable to my eyes. Recommended not going lower. Or if you want to go uh, with your super PC with a very crisp. Uh, resolution uh, you can go ahead and put it to 1.5 then I uh, just save this then rename the document as user then this as CFG for config yep I know what I'm doing then just cut this or copy it and go to your battlefield install folder uh, which uh, for me is on SSD you will find this in program files origin games and the folder where the bf2042.exe is just go ahead and paste the user config so this will automatically load up the commands that you have done every time you launch up battlefield 2042 and on top of that you can set these line of commands to your battlefield 2042 launch settings go to game, game properties then advanced launch options here on origin uh, put plus high and on Steam, it's here, almost same place. Properties, launch options, plush, <laughs> plush, plus high. That will automatically set the program priority to high. As you can see, for example, if I check origin here, I'll see the priority, it's normal. Uh, that will set the uh, priority to high. Real time is very bad for a PC, do not do that ever. Alright, so that's all I know how to boost your FPS on Battlefield 2042. I hope it gets better optimized soon enough. And if you know more, you can put stuff in the comments down below. And I hope to see you on the battlefield. Oh yeah, and like and subscribe if you like to. Um, I haven't done YouTube in a while. See ya.